All right, guys, Basic Dad here. We're back again, cooking on the Blackstone 17-inch E-Series. It's the indoor electric griddle. What we're gonna get going tonight, we're gonna make Taco Bell crunch wrap. So I'm gonna get going on the ground beef, and then we'll come back at the end, because that's really all I gotta cook on the griddle tonight is the ground beef, and then we'll toast those crunch wraps up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this on. Turn that temperature up to cook that ground beef. I'm probably gonna do about 425 again. I'm gonna set it and we'll be back when we're cooking the ground beef. All right guys, we've got two pounds of ground hamburger meat, organic. That's, that's what we do. We'll get both of these packs on there. Again, with my wooden spoon, just come along and break this meat up. So we'll just get cooking this, and then we'll add the uh, the seasoning in. That's so one thing about the the organic ground beef is it's, it's hard to get and get chopped out. It's so packed together, but we'll keep going. A little plastic silicone chopper just to try to help break up some of this ground beef. But I'd say this is probably one of the drawbacks compared to maybe a griddle outside is you know, it is a little small, like 17 inches. It's not, you know, you weren't expecting it to be a large space, but just trying to make sure, because this is so non-stick, you don't have beef flying off the, uh, the, the griddle top here. But we're gonna keep mashing here, get this stuff cooked up, then we'll add the seasoning in, and then we'll start making our Taco Bell crunch wraps. Here while this is um, cooking up, I've got my own little special blend of um, taco salt. Uh, I use a half teaspoon of onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and then I use a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. The only reason we use it's just we just don't, we have folks that don't really like a lot of spice. Um, and then just salt and pepper mix. And a half teaspoon of cumin. So let me, let me run that back for you again. It's half teaspoon of cumin powder, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, cumin, and then a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. And that's... You know, you, at least that way you know what's in it and you can make it as spicy or less spicy as you want. So this is, uh, this looks like this is finishing up nicely. Uh, I'm going to continue just to kind of break it down, try to get a little bit smaller. And then we're going to hit it with our taco seasoning. But I'm going to hit it with this taco seasoning and get mixing. Stir that up, get that mixed around. Can't lose that out the grease trap there. We'll just keep stirring this up, get it mixed in and, and chopped up. This has been cooking up for a while. We got the seasoning mixed in. I think this meat is just about done. So we'll pull this off. I'll give the, uh, I'll turn the grill temperature down. I'll give it a wipe down and um, we'll get ready to start assembling our crunch wraps. 
All right, guys, we're getting ready to start building this crunch wrap. We're gonna build this crunch wrap. We're gonna do two different kind of crunch wraps. I'm gonna make one for um, lovely wife. She doesn't eat meat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with a layer of refried beans. If you haven't seen my video on refried beans, I'll post the link down in the bottom for you to check that out. Okay, so we've got the refried beans on there. We're gonna come in and hit it with some of the queso, that copycat um, chipotle queso that my family says is better than chipotle. Can I get an amen? Yeah. So we'll put some of that on there. If you haven't seen the video for that, I will have that posted down in the description. We're gonna hit it with a tostada. It's just, these are what those things look like. Gluten-free, just round corn chips. We're gonna come in, hit it with some sour cream. Spread that around there. Then we're gonna hit it with some shredded lettuce. We're gonna load her up so she didn't have a lot of a lot of meat on there. We're gonna hit it with some tomatoes. Get that on there. Then we're gonna hit it with my DIY or homemade Taco Bell mild sauce. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have that posted down in the uh, description. Then we're gonna hit it with some shredded cheese. We'll load that shredded cheese on there. Okay, we've got that loaded on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a small piece of the tortilla um, left over because when we come in now to wrap this, you can see I'm just kind of taking it and folding it up. And if I didn't put that small piece of the tortilla shell in there, it would have been exposed. So we're gonna take it, get it all wrapped up until it's kind of folded up like that. And then we're gonna head over and throw it on the uh, Blackstone griddle. You can see I've got one in there cooking now. Now we're just gonna come in here, throw this on there like that, make sure it's all nice and folded down. Press that down, close the lid. I've got the griddle set at 350 degrees, the perfect temperature to not burn it. Put a little um, toasting on it, you shut the lid on it, everything inside gets nice and warm and melts. And then um, we're gonna start working on mine, the beef crunch wrap supreme. All right, guys. Okay, guys, we're back. Now we're gonna make the beef Taco Bell Crunch Wrap Supreme. I'm gonna start off with a layer of refried beans. Come in and hit it with some of that ground beef with the taco seasoning that we put on it. Come in with the queso and it's all disorganized because we made our kids first because they needed to eat so we'll get that on there hit it with the tostado shell come on with some sour cream spread that around This is where you just have fun with it. Put as little or as much as you want. I'm gonna hit it with some shredded lettuce. I'm gonna hit it with some tomatoes. I'm gonna hit it with my taco sauce. Then a little shredded Mexican cheese. Then we'll come back. Just 
just like we did in the other video. Come over here and I'll put the small shell on it. And then I'll just start folding up and wrapping. And all right, I'll see you over at the Blackstone. Okay, I'm gonna hit this on the griddle, press it down. Lovely wipes is ready to come off. We'll shut that down. Okay, come in now and give it a flip over. And about another minute, maybe two minutes, we'll be ready to cut into that bad boy. Okay, it's been about two and a half minutes. Let's come and see what that looks like. Ah, uh, it's got that nice golden brown. I don't know if you could see that on there very well. The nice golden brown tint. So we're gonna get this off the grill. We're gonna plate it up and we'll come back and see you. All right, let's come in and Cut this bad boy up and see what we got. Fantastic, I can't wait to dig into that.